for two of our 2020 Bowman Chrome 4 case play break. This will be the final case of the day. We're doing cases three and four tomorrow. Same schedule, same start time. Recap is at the end of case number one, and we'll do the same here at the end of case number two. Good luck. We are also adding a full bonus box, full hobby box at the end of this case, as which we will do at the end of tomorrow. So essentially it becomes a 50 box break. And we did open an extra half box, so who knows? That other one will probably get thrown in at some point as well. <laughs> All right. Good luck. And do thank everyone again for joining. about face. We'll take these two to start. All right, box number one, case number two, ready to go. Uh, easy deal. Uh, Dominguez base and Dominguez parallels. I don't think he has an insert autograph. No. No, on this Bowman Chrome set, it's base prospect, and I don't think he's insert, so just base prospect and parallels. Quick check on the time on this one. Just a couple of minutes past due. Good luck, good luck. Although he has been on the uh, a little tough on the color as well, so we're kind of a little overdue on Jason as far as color. I can't even remember the last time we did hit some color on him, so would hope we do see some action in this round here. Prospect refractor to four ninety nine Tanner Hawk. Would hope we can get some orange on the autos in this case here. We did top out on the nice gold to finish that first case on uh, Francisco Alvarez. Refractor, Tyler Ivy to lead it off here. Ivy to 499. First for the Ivy spot there. Congrats. Andrew Vaughn stat tracker insert. Christian Allen rookies. Mark Vientos. Purple Shimmer. Yeah, no autos, but we'll get a fair bit of value back as far as even on the base. His base. Dominguez base do go closer to 10 a piece through four cases here. We should probably run into about 15 or 20 of them. So hopes is we can add some nice parallels on top of that there to bridge the gap. Certainly some of his base graded PSA 10 as well has some big time potential, but definitely got to pick the ones that kind of qualify in that regard. They're not all, they're not all made equal. Mari home. Bias. Purple from the prospect set. Braden Shoemate out of two fifty. Um, no, Dominguez goes about 100, 120 a case in Bowman Chrome. If you're looking for his first Bowman Auto, that's in Bowman, regular Bowman, and he usually goes about 400 a case in that set, so quite a different value. Uh, but no, Dominguez spot sells for about that range, in the range of about 100 to 120 per case right now. 
up a bit from about a month ago, but that's in the range of where his sales are at. John Torres, so that's interesting. Two refractors. Normally see a refractor and a base. All right, I'm glad they accept that. So that's a very important one I tell people, right? Make sure you check the checklist. Don't take it as an assumption. Uh, always make sure that the, the card you're looking for is, is the card that's in the set. First Bowman autograph on Dominguez is from the Bowman product, and that stuff is a little bit up there in price. It's come down a bit, but it's still rather pricey. Ryan Jensen. And again, kind of tell everyone, right, make sure you know what you're doing before we get into the break so that we don't have situations like this. Kind of the first thing that we stayed in the auctions. Base. Now, if you did overpay for a situation, we will always look at that, but that's in the range of what the price goes for. So, again... Got to be knowing what you're paying for because the other other spots know what they're doing. Ethan Diaz on the rookie refractor to four ninety nine. Marion, Farm to Fame. Two sixty five out of four ninety nine on the Diaz. Rookie autograph. There you go. Nice Nikki Solak to get on the board. On the rookie autos. Who did we get? We have the green Tetsugo and Andre Munoz space in that first case. Well, Nikki Solak on this one to lead it off. Lindau Stat Tracker. Tony Santillan, Purple Shimmer. He's got a few of them now. He's got a couple purples and a blue. No, and a green, excuse me. <laughs> but after I get out of school. Tony G. Base. Force Whitley, Stat Track, or I'm sorry, AFL Prospect. Dominguez base. Start there. Charlie Blackman, purple to two fifty. Two oh eight out of two fifty on the Blackman. Uh, Alex, which packs usually have the most first Bowmans? Usually the, the the regular Bowman, Bowman series that comes out in the springtime. That's the one that has a majority of the, more of the first Bowman guys historically. That set has a lot more in that. But that's also, those boxes do carry a bit of a premium as well over the Bowman Chrome boxes. Jumbo box of Bowmans, like four something, 450-ish. Uh, while, there we go, sorry about that. Dunner Mayer, while a uh, Bowman Chrome is about more or less like half the cost of that, but totally different subsets there. Base, base.
MJ, hey, well, thank you, and more than welcome there. Fauna Glory, Lou and Diaz. Ramos, Mayor Laura, base prospect. Duran, stat tracker, base. Um, boy, that's a tough question. Is it worth investing in? I mean, the, the draft class should be pretty darn deep, but I know a lot of the secondary pricing is already up there. So, investing investing in it from a sealed box standpoint, where the prices are at, I'm not sure. I think the prices, like everything we've seen, kind of max out appro approaching release and then kind of soften after release, as everything, I you know, the, as the uh, Supply dilutes, it dilutes the demand as well. So I would expect it as well, you know, come down from its highs where it's at. And somewhere in maybe January, it'll settle out and then pick back up before springtime, certainly. So certainly the influx of supply affects the demand and then has a correlation in return with the pricing. Uh, obviously, we see that with every most every product, and minus a few. Some just keep going out of the gate, but even Bowman came back this year as did much of everything. So I'd probably expect the same thing. So, right, as far as investing in the draft class, yeah, I think it's a definitely a deep class. As far as investing in sealed boxes, you might want to hold off. I think it'll soften up a bit uh, that uh, as it approaches maybe near Christmas. How much? I'm not sure. Safe to say maybe 10 or 20%, maybe even as much, because we saw that with Bowman. Bowman came down from like, 450 a jumbo down to like 350 so that's like almost a quarter yeah i can tell you from a from a personal standpoint too i've gotten burned a few times in, uh, buying in too high at the initial cost and then you know that hasn't worked out sometime on the back end there so definitely want to be you know cautious and aware of where the what what price point you're getting in at I mean, did get yeah, did get Brandon Lewis in that first case. I'm gonna add him here again. Lou and Diaz. I will say this: there might be an opportunity for more sleeper sleeper pickups because, right, having no minor league season for people to kind of go off of assessments, kind of keep some of those hidden hidden secrets a little bit more hidden. So I think there's definitely some opportunity in that regard on the collecting side. Quinn Presser, Purple Shimmer. Update, Tops Chrome. I mean, most of them have done that. Um, most of the major releases have come down off of their initial highs. Understandably so. Again, that, uh, everybody's getting their cases. That's going to dilute the supply over the first month or two. Then everyone goes through their allocation, and then you know the market thins out and starts to rebound, so to say. Blue refractor off the base set here. Anthony K, little blue rookie, 19 out of 150. Yeah. Uh, you know, it hasn't been as such in years past, but maybe more so in this year, they've kind of gotten the pricing up there. So definitely do heat some caution. 
but also know it, it probably, it's not going anywhere, and it's probably only likely to get cheaper a little bit after release, especially in the off season. Now, stuff more in season, I can see it picking up and you know prices picking up after release, but especially heading into the off season, stuff should be on the gradual decline until it bottoms out some point. We're getting pretty close to it too. I mean, Bowman Chrome has come down, come down considerably as well now from its high. So, how much more it's got to go? I don't think it's got too much more to go. Oops. Dominguez base. Again, each Dominguez base going roughly about ten bucks a piece with graded versions, quite possibly going up up there. I'm not sure why I haven't seen the PSA 10 versions, but leaves a great deal of potential on his stuff, certainly moving forward. Rizzo, Refractor to 499. Bobby Witt Jr. Yeah, Topps Chrome is pretty close to it. I don't see it getting too much cheaper on Topps Chrome. I've seen some hobby boxes get as low as like 179, 189, but I'm not sure it's going to go too much, too much lower. 2019, same thing happened with 2019 a year ago. A year ago today, 2019 Topps Chrome pretty much in the same position, actually cheaper. And look at 19 Chrome now. It's what, if you can find it, it's three, four hundred a hobby box. All primarily from the Tatis, you know, from Tatis tearing it up there but yeah that, what, it, what a year of difference makes in that product Michael let's see if we can get you some a uh, Luis Robert action I do apologize I had the lone base rookie in that first case that was rather uninspiring so let's see if we can get a goodie get some parallel action at the very least here so we get a nice big shiny auto well his autos are redemption so we want to see it <laughs> nice colorful redemption. Yeah, so I got note from um, distributors and whatnot over the summer that Tops was going to be reducing output. So I think that's definitely a move that's taking place more slowly and gradually. And by what they mean by that, I think, is that they're allocating less for initial market supply so that you're going to see boxes and prices sustaining higher margins, but also that's going to create higher returns on the cards that are out there in population. You know, it's kind of like the diamond trade. If all the diamonds in the world were out on the market at the same time, you know, diamonds sure as heck wouldn't be worth what they're worth, but because it's a controlled commodity, um, you know, you have what you have, basically. They're worth what they're worth because of the supply versus the demand. And I think that's what they're putting, trying to put a balance and check on that. But, like, I think that's the biggest implementation versus, like, four or five years ago, right? Because, like, four or five years ago, I mean, boxes. Bowman Chrome in the off season four years ago was $60, $65, right? Man, what's nice. It was really nice. I got to go back in time and tell myself, don't feel bad if you skunked out on a box. Because in the future, those boxes are going to be a lot more. <laughs> yeah. I used to get used to get all bummed out on a skunked out on a box, a $60, $70 box of Chrome. That ain't happening. There's a nice Dustin May. $109 out of $250. <laughs> Diamonds aren't worth what they want. Uh, Rebel, when you gotta get married and you gotta stick one on that lady's hand, there comes a time where there's a demand for that. Trust me, so they know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. A prospect autograph base. Packy, Packy Naughton on the board first for the Naughton spot. Congrats on this one.
base. Uh, I mean, yeah, right? In retrospect, it makes me look back and be like, oh, even those skunk boxes back in the day weren't really that bad compared to the the margin of difference now. Right? You have a skunk box these days, and it can be pretty significant with the prices, so... I'll feel you on that one if you get a bad, if you get a less than desirable box. Forged Whitley, Purple Shimmer. Growl. Trey Harris, looking for his autograph. Got Michael Harris on the board. Louis Robert. All right, there we go. That's better than the one we got in the first case. So, step forward. Oh, you got a good one there, Rebel. Excellent. I wish all women were that that reasonable. <laughs> No, well, I'm going to get myself in trouble with that comment, so let me take that back. <laughs> I wish there were more reasonable women that thought like your wife. Let's put it that way. I think it, I'm going to get roasted for that. <laughs> and, and Mark's inbox is filling up with hate mail. Nice on the Nico Horner Rookie Refractor. Which means we should see our autograph here. Oh, it's a link. What is this? This is an insert autograph. AFL Prospect. AFL Prospect Auto. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a very good one to get. Maybe the best on the AFL set right now to get. Congrats. Alec Bohm. Put it on the board. AFL Prospect Autograph. Congrats. Joe, yeah, basketball, ooh, orange refractor, parallel, we already got the autograph, so prospect to 25, Tanner Hawk, yeah, basketball is super tough, I mean, it's expensive every which way you go, even the older stuff, so, but same thing with basketball in the sense that they've tightened up the supply so much, and that's why, it's, on top of the Zion effect, because the Zion effect is just kind of its own self, but the Zion effect uh, supplied with a shorter um, output of initial product, and that's where we see what's going on with basketball. That's multiple things going on in that market beyond just the uh, supply. De La Cruz, Donna Glory. Andre Jimenez. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go back, Bill. I think that's our freaking first one, Andre Franco, because it's the first one I pulled aside here. Uh, Akiyama, Cabello. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. We have somehow missed him in that first case. Arturo, very nice. Yeah, it makes you feel... That's the one good thing about it, right? And the prices are so high, you're like, geez. But then you find a card that you got from the what little you open that's, like, pretty significant. Kind of makes you feel a little bit better about it. I agree, too. I opened a little bit of Prism Basketball when it was, dare I say, more affordable. At about 1000 <laughs> uh, No, it was, like, it was like 600 a box when I got into it. Yeah, Prism Basketball was, like, at 600 a box. And that was, like, initial release. I never opened it after it went higher, and I think it's like in excess of almost what two thousand a box, twenty five hundred a box now. So, that's too rich for a lot of people's blood. <laughs> Jason, yeah, Julio and uh, Wander. So they are sequenced together. So they are. Wow. Okay. Apologies to both spots then. I'm not sure how we missed that sequence. 
Nice prospect refractor, Louis Patino, out of four ninety nine. Well, ideally, let's see if we can get you guys a nice low numbered parallel to make up for that count. Prospect autograph, Bobachet base rookie. All right, nice Louis Matos, prospect auto on the board. The base autograph here. Wow, 02, January, goodness. Yeah, I'm over that. <laughs> these, th these guys keep getting younger and younger on these. Batty and Possum, you know? I don't know if I've seen that sequence either. Randy, base rookie. Which would kind of explain why we saw only one, like we saw one Luis Robert, one Jordan Alvarez rookie. So hopefully we get a little bit more even spread here in this case. G-Lux. Michael Bush. Purple Shimmer. <laughs> That's interesting too, right? Flip, flip, flipping cards up. That's always a fun notion if you have the patience for it. Always fun to see if you can keep track of it too, right? Started with this card, flipped it up to this, flipped it up to that. If you keep track of it, I think it's a very fun kind of way to collect. Myself, I'd be like, what did I trade this for? I lose, lose track of what I did for what. I'm going to be all over the place. <laughs> Blue Refractor from the base set. It's a rookie. It's a Bobby Bradley. 125 out of 150. Congrats. <laughs> they allow Panini. Uh, Nico Horner, base rookie. Hector Jan, refractor prospect autograph to four ninety nine, gets the Jan spot on the board. Two fifty one out of four ninety nine. So we are refractor auto, refractor auto, Ref three refractors, and then the insert auto. Okay, surely we're gonna have a box base box or two up ahead as well. Uh, all right, there we go. Make a track on Wander. Back at it. Julio and Wander, base prospects. Base. Dawn of Glory, Dylan File. Wow, yeah, right. Uh, David, yes, there are 101s, but they're pretty tough. Let me see if I can see the odds here to kind of paint a picture with on the base. Base card super factor, 1 in 11,464. So that's tough. That's what, 12 times 12. We've got 144 packs in a full case. So that's about 1 in 80, roughly off the top of my head, in about 1 in 75, 1 in 80 cases to hit a base super factor. Uh, autograph Super Fractor, 1 in 155. 155,000, that is. That's the insert, I'm sorry. Prospect Autograph, more, more precisely. Prospect Autograph Super, 1 in 30,000, 252, 144 in a case. So that's in excess of 200 cases. Yeah, Prospect Super in excess of 1 in 200 cases. Oh, yeah, there's a whole lot of boxes. Math, don't fail me now. <laughs> uh, yeah, about... Ooh. 
to 2400 boxes apart or so. So I'm saying there's a chance, but they're very tough. Uh, we do see them on occasion from time to time. Watch, we pull one in the next box or two here. <laughs> that would be sweet. Go positive vibes, indeed, good sir. Luis Garcia of the Phillies, the Green Refractor Prospect, 42 out of 99. Prospect Autograph incoming, Devin Mann, Base Prospect Auto, Adley, Stat Tracker Insert, all right, now we're getting a more positive run here on Wander and Julio, so making up for lost ground, hopefully. But that is, what, the third one and in the first three boxes. So hopefully we get the flip result of that first case and get a nice run on them. Our nice Luciano on this one. Marco Luciano, 99 out of 99. Green Shimmer Prospect. Oh, J.C. Oldman. Or J.C. Oldman, sorry. I'm not sure to say. That's cool, man. Yeah, right? When you kind of realize how rare something is in, in retrospect to what you might have opened a couple boxes, you're like, damn, pretty cool. Indeed. Congrats there, good sir. I mean, for uh, we open a lot, and right, pulling a super is very nice and special, let alone doing it on a personal box front is much, much harder because you're Unless you're opening up cases after case after case after case as we do. So very nice indeed. Blue is the auto. I think this is the auto blue refractor. No, not the auto, but a nice blue refractor parallel. Matthew Libertor, solid. 32 out of 150. And this is the auto. Refractor, Prospect, Autograph, Anthony Garcia. Number 493 out of 499. Wow, that's our, wow, four, Jesus. Four Refractor autographs. So, all right, I think we got all the Refractors out of this case now. Safe to say that. We had a base box. Four. One, okay, we've had one base box so far, so I'm probably likely to see another one or two. Tony G base rookie, Francisco, nice. Prospect refractor. What do we, we got the purple shimmer. Add the refractor here to 499, and then got the nice gold autograph at the end of case number one. Wow, you know, on the on the basketball value, Arturo, I have, I'm always off. I underestimate things just because that market is just so much more than I'm used to. I have no idea. I wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised to say a couple grand, really. Your Dan base rookie.
should be nice for hero, hero collectors too because basketball is right around the corner again. I mean, there's not much downside, and hero stuff just picked up in the playoffs, so yeah, that's going to be a hot market still on him. Luis Robert, base rookie, Volpe. All right. Wow, that's a pretty funky half case there. So half case yields the a bob. AFL Auto, Refractors, Garcia, Jan, Torres, and Ivy. Where's the beef? All right. See some nice color coming up here on the back side. Oh, let's go red, orange, gold shimmer. Yeah, right, and, and you're not going to have to wait too long to find that out, too, right? Because the season starts, what, six, six weeks from now? So, that's good. And refractor from the base set to leave it off here. It's a rookie. Dylan Cease, out of 4.99. 280, out of 4.99. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right, see, that's where I'm way off. Oh, tie-dye. Tie-dyes are 25 then, aren't they? There's Ricky. Ricky Benasco. Put him on the board. So maybe that bodes well for some of the other Texas Ranger prospect autos, as sometimes they do come in bunches. George Kirby. Crazy Piggy! Eh, I wouldn't say nothing too crazy yet. I'd say the nicest card is the uh, Alec Bohm so far, the AFL Prospect Autograph. Our numbered autographs have all been refractors to $4.99, so expecting some color in the works here. Got John Torres on the board. Luis Matos base auto, but yeah, that's probably the uh, the nicest piece so far out of this case, and not much yet, right? Refractor autos, some base autos, nice parallels, but well, that's not going to cut the teeth. So looking for some big prospect color in the mix, or a nice big rookie auto. Bowm AFL prospect. An Atomic AFL. So yet another Atomic insert. This one. Dean Kramer. 72 out of 150. That one pops really nice with the uh, light lighter background there. Everything pops on that. Very nice. 72 of 150. Base. So this is a base auto box. Luis Robert rookie. So that's much better. Third or fourth one now versus that one in the single case, first case. Yondres Gomez. Yogo. First Bowman prospect autograph on the board. Maybe we look at the back on those on the base ones. Zach Gallon, base rookie, Toro. Parade.
praise, God of glory. Looking, his autographs are, are redemption, so looking for a redemption auto for the Parade spot, as well as Luis Robert, Dustin May base, Matrovic. Sam Huff. Yeah, right? Well, even if, I mean, right? There's some things where I'm bummed on if I don't get a PSA 10, but right? With a card that's that valuable, even the PSA 9 is going to have a nice nice effect on it. So, sure, you'd like it to, to, to grade out as a 10, but, you know, when they get up there in price like that, those 9s those carry still a good considerable value and still have room to grow. The more the, 10, the, more the 10s go up in value, you'll see the uh, PSA 9s or even 8s pick up behind them in due time. Casey Mize, Purple Refractor Prospect out of 250, Christian Pache, base. Ninety four out of two fifty on the Casey Mize. All right, autograph, and it looks like a blue refractor, blue prospect to one fifty. Good luck on this one, Levi. He's back for some more. Got the purple auto in case one. Got the bonus auto in that bonus mini box that we opened up after that first mini, after that first case. And going to pick up a blue here in case two. So the Levi Kelly auto train continues. Had a pretty good run in the four case here on the HTA. And, uh, well, he's off to a pretty decent start here on that spot as well now. Congrats. Base, base. Prospect base. Yes, they have Keith. That's something to note as well. I have found it. I found it out last. I mean, I haven't done a main submission since or like springtime, but man, they came back a lot tougher on, on a lot of that. And you know what? Good because you don't want cards that you have PSA ten. You don't want you know it to be that easy. It's going to dilute the population reports and whatnot. So I wish there was more transparency on when they got tighter on things. But definitely I would approach with caution, guys, when you grade, right? Send out a sample batch. Don't send everything you got if it's your first time grading. Send out a sample batch and kind of assess it how, you, how it comes back for you. You don't want to send off 200 cards and then just get slaughtered. <clears throat> Done that. <laughs> nice Brett Batty, Purple Shimmer. And then you get back a bunch of nines and eights that you don't really even want, and then you're yeah you're trying you're having to spend time trying to piece those out or sit on them. Air skis, base rookie Duran, AFL prospect Jordan and Kyle Lewis base rookies. <laughs> we just haven't seen uh, Isaac Paredes yet. Wow, what happened here? One, two, three, four, five, six cards in here. We've got an extra card somewhere in the mix. Dustin May, uh, Eason Diaz, rookies. Refractor from the base set, Sal Perez. Nice comeback by Sal Perez this year, right? Coming off a pretty gruesome injury last year. Nice to see him back to normal there, putting up solid production. 314 out of 499 on this one. Base box. Pepio, Ryan Pepio on the board. So that's, I got the blue Kelly, excuse me. That's what it was. Blue Levi Kelly and Ryan Pepio getting on the board with this one. There it is.
Donna Flory, Sam Huff. Got the auto to 75 in that first case. Luis Garcia. Adley, old boy. Box number nine, case number two. Shane McCarthy, purple out of 250, prospect refractor. <laughs> Keith, I'd rather sink with the ship than sell my cards on you. <laughs> uh, I gotta get a license plate like that. That's Yeah, that's probably very true, actually. I get like that as well. There'll be another spike. There'll be another rebound. 171 out of 250 on the McCarthy. Base prospect auto. Hector Young did get a refractor autograph in this case to get them on the board and had the base auto. Nikki Solak. Yeah, Arturo, we do need an orange. We need a pretty colorful run here. It's been a little, uh, you know. Vidal Bruhan, purple shimmer. We are adding the bonus box, full bonus box added on to the end of this case as well, uh, as which we'll do for the end of tomorrow's case, number four. So hope is we can get a nice run on color here and get a color out of the bonus box as well. Of course, Whitley AFL prospect. Okay, orange insert incoming. Uh, this is Stat Tracker. Stat Tracker orange refractor blue and Diaz. Boy, we don't see these. These are tough to hit. I mean, we see a lot more on the Atomics, but gosh, I can't remember how many, if any, oranges we've seen. 1 of 25 for the Lou and Diaz spot. So a nice parallel on the board there. Looking for their first autograph, so a nice uh, parallel insert to put on the board in the meanwhile. Again, 1 out of 25. All right. There we go. Now we know a little back story on him. Well, let's see if that woke up the color a little bit. No, base. All right. Jordan Alvarez. Michael Massé. First auto for the Massé spot gets them on the board. AJ Puck rookies, Boharski, the big Boharski. Oh, you got Lou and Diaz. Okay, cool. A little action there. Randy, base rookie. Ramos, AFL prospect. Last pack of box number nine. Case number two. Duran stat tracker. Bobby Wood Jr. base prospect.
Square factor from the base set coming up. Justin Dunn, Ricky Mike Trout base. AJ Puck, that's a variation short print. So a nice little hit for the AJ Puck spot here on the image variation rookie short print. Oh, let's see what we can add to that for you now. Zach Gallen, Abraham Toro, Pedro Pages. First Bowman on the board for the Pages spot there with that one. Jason Dominguez prospect. Murphy, base rookie. Dustin May, base rookie. Dylan Carlson, purple shimmer. Joe Adele, AFL prospect. Again, oh, Pedro Pace, see if it's a color, color, big color refractor from the base set. Aaron Savali or Aaron Savale, rookie refractor number 51. There's 51 out of 499. Baron Laura, base prospect. Base prospect auto Hector Yan. Goodness gracious. That's a triple. That's the second base auto of this case. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, did get a refractor autograph as well. Yes, he did. Wow. All right. Gonna shuffle the deck a little better there. Congrats to the Yan spot. Don of Glory, Kevin Smith. Nick! You know, he's one of the guys we're looking for on the prospect side, but, you know, admittedly, I haven't seen as many of the top guys as we'd like to see here through almost two cases. So, let's see if we can get you a Marcano Kella. Yeah, sorry for the uneventful first half of the break here on those spots. Box number 11, case number 2. Dustin May, base rookie. Suarez, purple refractor. Hank Aaron, farm to fame. So at least we're getting these. We've gotten some cases where we've been pretty light. That's our second in this case. We had three in the first case on the Farm to Fame subset. Hammer and Hank on that one. Eugenio Suarez out of 250. Bryant Packard. That's all. Uh, first for the Packard spot. Gets them on the board. So maybe, maybe a different sequence, hopefully. Congrats there. Got that big hit at the end of the first case with the Alvarez Gold Auto. Uh, kind of hoping for here as well down the stretch.
Orn Shimmer Parallel. We did get the autograph, so this is a parallel Orange Shimmer Prospect number to 25. Wow. Goodness. Tanner Hawk. He got the Orange Refractor in this case, too. Entire Nation. 18 of 25 on this one. Yeah. I mean, that's tough to do. In the same case. Congrats to the Hawk spot. Ivan Herrera. Well, let's see. I haven't seen Laura. I haven't seen Acuna. Who's been the biggest name that we have seen? Matos on the base. Refractor Al uh, Gold Refractor Alvarez. Yeah, I could use a little something more towards the top tier. Refractor Prospect Autograph to four ninety nine. Not the autograph, but a nice parallel there. False start on Mark. All right, there you go. Numbered one out of four ninety nine, Bobby Witt Jr. on the refractor. I was gonna say good. Another refractor. I was like, wait a second. I thought we got okay. Looking for color. No more refractors. No more base. Please. And it's a base auto. Maybe I just gotta stop asking. Oswald Peraza on this one. First for the Peraza spot, gets them on the board. Mm. Wow. Pretty skimp on the color. A blue and four refractor autographs so far. Eesh. Braden Shoemake. Lodola, Dawn of Glory. Daniel Lynch, AFL prospect. Jason Dominguez, base prospect. Parade, stat tracker. All right. Well, got it in the last case. Let's see. We're looking for some last box magic here in the, to finish this one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not a good, uh, not a good taste in my mouth off of this piece either. That's right, we got the bonus box. All right, bonus box on deck still here. So let's see if we can get a couple strong ones to finish. Willie Calhoun, base refractor to four ninety nine. Refractor autograph, Drew Milas. Wow. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be telling me there's gotta be another numbered autograph here. I don't think we've topped out on a case on a blue before. I think we've topped out on blue green, at least a green. This is a funky case. That's Corbin Carroll, green shimmer. Number eight out of ninety-nine. Trent Griffin. Yeah, I mean, ideally you'd like to be adding bo extra boxes on top of strong cases, but those have been rather uninspiring the first two cases here. So definitely apologize. Uh, definitely also hope we got something better ahead for tomorrow. Sean Murphy base rookie trout base. Dane Dunning, Prospect Refractor to four ninety nine. <sighs> Did 
Dustin May rookie. Kevin Smith. Wow. Five refractors. A blue and an insert auto. How does that happen? You gotta get some more color in there. Hey. Big set, refractor blue, Marcus Simeon, Dominguez, base prospect. Oh, 52 out of 150 on the Simeon. Aristides, base rookie, Don of Glory, Adley. Kyle Lewis, base rookie, Jimenez. Last pack of this god awful case. Baron Laura, stat tracker. Okay. Stay tuned here. We got bonus box, and I, don't know, I might even add something else here. That's not leaving a good taste in my mouth either. All right. Jeez. Bonus box. We need you more than ever now. <laughs> Come through. Let me big hit here. So, bonus box. Box number, we'll call it box number 13. Case number 2. Brian Reynolds, Refractor, from the base set. $307 out of $499. Base prospect autograph. Trey Harris, okay. Positive there. Haven't seen him yet. Get him on the board. Trout base on Duran Duran. Nice purple shimmer, Robert Pawson. Little action there, haven't seen anything on him yet, so nice in that regard as well. Josh Loeb, AFL prospect. Aristides, base rookie. Gavin Lux, refractor prospect. That's nice. Christian Pache. Two seventy four out of four ninety nine on this one. Auto time. Don't fail me now. Oh! Jackpot! There we go. God, we needed that. Oh, needed something with some color on it. There we go. All right. Orange Refractor Auto. Couldn't get it in the case. We're going to get some orange action here. Give it a good one. Come on now. We need a good one here. Somebody needs a good one. Good luck. Orange Refractor Prospect Autograph. Put it on the board. Boom! That is a big hit. That is a big hit. There we go. Oh, we had seen a base autograph on the motto spot, but man, I guess that, that's quickly the biggest hit of the break now. All right. Yeah, we need some action like that. And got it. Louie Louie, congrats to the motto spot. True Orange, that's a good one. There we go. About damn time. Pardon my language there. Excellent. That's what the motto spot's looking for. 
Wander Franco base. There we go. Gosh, yeah, I was getting pretty frustrated with that. I know a lot of you guys still are, so let me see. I might kick down another box here just because those first two cases have been god awful. Nice Aquino. Very good. This box is killer. The Pache Prospect Refractor. Aquino Blue Rookie to 150. The Possum Purple Shimmer. I mean, pretty good on all notes so far. With the Trey Harris Base Auto, who hadn't seen any action either, so. That's what I'm looking for. At least get something back to some spots that need it here if we're going to do a box. Baron Laura stat track. Nolan Jones, AFL. Huh. All right, well, I, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try one more here, just to kind of help out a few more spots. I don't mind making a little bit less on, if, especially if the cases are that brutal. But that was a great one. We needed a box like that to pick it up. One more, guys. I know, not the soundest business decision, but like I said, I'd rather make less in, on bad cases like that and try to get some more value back like that. Boy, we needed that. Crazy Piggy, bonus box. Bonus box yields the best hit of the break, so wouldn't you know. Uh, Matos, 1 out of 25, orange. God, we needed something like that. that. We'll go over the recap on that case, but that was... Five refractors. A blue and an insert. So we topped out on a blue refractor out of that second case. Oh, that is the jersey number. Michael, thanks, man. I didn't notice that. That is his jersey hit. I don't know if you're going to keep that through the minors, but very nice indeed. So glad to put a smile on that spot's face. Let's see if we can do one more good one here. And then we're running out of margin so I know the guys want to get paid as well so I gotta take that into account still all right Arturo who's the owner you know I'm not sure I haven't checked who the owner on that is I know it got paid that's for sure wouldn't start the break if we had big unpaid spots like that so congrats to whoever and we'll check on that if anyone's interested um, you can shoot me a message on eBay and we'll forward it to them. See if they're in any interest, have any interest in selling or anything like that. You know, that's a nice rookie refractor as well. Shogo Akiyama. So we got the uh, Akinio blue. I have the Akiyama blue here. A couple of sharp parallels. Base. Junior Santos. on the board for the Santos spot as well. I haven't seen their autograph. Uh, let me look at the back here as well. So that's good. Even if it's a base autograph, at least the hopes is that it goes to a spot that hasn't seen some action. That one worked there. Sixto. There we go. A little Sixto. Parallel, an extra Dominguez base as well. And purple Shimmer. Nicky Solak, base rookie. Josh Lowe.
Jaren Duran, Snap Tracker insert. Luis Robert, nice, extra base rookie. Louis Campisano, purple refractor prospect. Gets them on the board, so I'm getting some action for some spots that I haven't seen much yet, so that's uh, ideal there. Ninety nine out of two fifty on the Campisano. All right, auto, auto. See if we can squeeze one more color. I'm being greedy, but now oh, it's a base autograph. Okay, well, we tried. Super, super nice. On oh, there we go. Randy Florentino. Have not seen Randy. Put it on the board for the Florentino spot with this one. So, in that sense, we got some of you guys on the board. That's all top loaded, not the surface. Oh, Florentino on the board with this one. All right, well, that'll at least, at least spice up the recap here a little bit better. Jackson Rutledge, Prospect Refractor to $4.99. Baron Laura, Base Prospect. Alvarez, Base Rookie. Jones, a AFL prospect. Last pack of this extended second case. Recap coming up. Cases three and four set to resume tomorrow. Same start time, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. And hopefully we got better cases than our first two here. But nice on the assist with the bonus box coming through for the Mato spot. Big time. All right. So again, minus. The orange mottos from the bonus box. This case was pretty funky. Topped out on a blue refractor. And Levi Kelly of all blue refractor. 11 out of 150. Did hit five refractor autographs. It's 499. Milas, Garcia, Jan, Johnny Torres, Tyler Ivey. Arizona Fall League autograph, Alec Bohm. Not numbered on the Bohm, but pretty nice hit there. And, of course, the big boy from the bonus box. Thank you. Someone looking out there. Got some color in the mix. Big hit indeed. Louis Mato spot all set. Did get a base autograph in him in the first two cases, but that'll do. That'll do. Congrats indeed. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping, too, that things will balance out tomorrow. We get some gold and orange auto action. Um, and we are doing another bonus box, but still, uh, hopefully we can get them into the cases that we open. Base autographs, Florentino, Santos, Harris, Smith, Peraza, Packard, Jan, Pages, Massey, Jan, Pep, Pepio, Yogo, Benasco, Devin Mann, Louis Matos, Packy Naughton, Drew Milas, Brandon Lewis, Gunnar Mayer, rookie autograph Nick Solak in that batch. Carl, how many Randys? I think we had, I got to look at the first guy. I think it was four from the first case. Give you a specific run on him here too. No refractors in this batch three. Sorry, so I do apologize there. Just three base rookies on Randy in this one. No refractors. But, two more cases coming up tomorrow, and we do get a lot of refractors off the base set, so decent chance of hitting a refractor prospect or refractor base set at the very least. 
pair of Lels. Pair of Lels. Let's separate these by color. That's very true. Carl, that's a very good assessment. I would agree with you there. Less uh, for people to shop around on his stuff without the first Bowman stuff. We see that with a few guys, too. Gosh, who's a good example? Guys that just came up without a first Bowman. There's a few ones. i got to think about that. Tanner Hawk, too, right? That's tough to do. Orange and orange shimmer in the same case. Variation. Okay, so parallel wise, we did get a little bit of color in this one. Uh, hopefully, it will carry over to the autos tomorrow. Stat Tracker Orange Refractor, 1 out of 25, Lewin Diaz. Orange, true orange refractor prospect, 7 of 25, Tanner Hawk. And orange shimmer prospect refractor. 18 of 25, Tanner Hawk. Oh, let's do the greens. Number to 99. Two green shimmer prospects. 99 of 99, Marcano. Uh, I'm sorry, Luciano. And Corbin Carroll. Solid green refractors, Castellani and Luis Garcia. One Atomic, as opposed to the five different Atomics we had in that first case. One Atomic here, AFL Prospect Dean Kramer. 72 out of 150. Blue Refractors. And we got a couple of these from the uh, bonus boxes here. Most of those are the Cincinnati Reds rookies, yeah. Aquino and Akiyama, both out of the bonus boxes. Anthony Kay, Bobby Bradley, and Marcus Simeon. One blue prospect in the case there, 32 out of 50, Matthew Libertor. Purple. Three purple refractors from the base set out of 250 each. Suarez, Blackman, and Dustin May. Four. Four purple prospects out of 250. Casey Mize, Shoemake, Campiasano. And Shane McCarty. Refractors. Let's count base set versus prospects here real quick. Prospect uh, Refractors from the base set. We did have eight of them. I'm sure we got one or two from the bonus boxes on these. Dylan Cease. Nico. Nico Horner. Rizzo, there it is, uh, Eason Diaz, Brian Reynolds, Willie Calhoun, Aaron Savale, Sal Perez. Refractor Prospects, from this case, number two, 499, we had seven of them. Patino, Francisco Alvarez, wow, Tanner Hawk, Rutledge, Pache from the bonus box, Dun Dane Dunning, and Bobby Witt Jr., one out of four ninety nine on the Witch Bobby Witt Jr. Nice refractor. Purple shimmers. Carl, gonna do another hobby break. You know, it's it's a, it's doable. The product is there. It's near bottomed out. So as long as it's right, as long as it doesn't jump three, four, five hundred dollars a case in the next couple of weeks, and the availability doesn't dry up, I'm certain we'll be able to do another run of on the Bowman Chrome here. Um Probably looking after Thanksgiving, but we'll see. I'll look at the calendar, see if we can squeeze it in before Thanksgiving. But probably thinking after Thanksgiving might be more realistic. But do be on the lookout for sure. Sixto, Robert Pawson, Dylan Carlson, Bruhan, 
Batty, Hall, Bush, Whitley, Presser, Santillian, Jensen, and Vientos on the Purple Shimmer Refractors. We did have two Farm to Fame inserts in this case, Hank Aaron and Mariano. We did hit one variation short print in this case, AJ Puck. Congrats there. And a quick count here on some of the key spots. Let's compare Randy. We did have three. Let's see the rest of these. Luis Robert, Jordan Alvarez on the rookies. Lux, Lewis, and Bichette. I think those are the guys that we've been pulling apart here. I only had one Luis Robert in the first case. One Jordan Alvarez. So it looks like a nice change of pace here on those spots. Oh, yeah. So Luis Robert had one in the first case. Five in the second case. So that definitely helps balance things out on that spot a little bit. Same with the Alvarez, seen one in the first case, four here in the second. Kyle Lewis, two in this case. Bo Bichette, two in this case. Both had higher counts in that first case. Gavin Lux, three. I think we'd seen four or five on Lux in the first. And then Randy did have three on the base count. Quick count on some of the key prospect spots. These might be inflated a little too because of the couple of bonus boxes we added. A lot of Jason. A lot of Jason. This case. Six Jasons. And we had five in the first case. So, I mean, a couple of these are from the bonus boxes. But it's a good healthy count of 11 through 2. Without a parallel, though. But the base count certainly helps there. Wander Franco did get four in this case. So, we I don't think we've seen him in the first case. And again, William, I do apologize there. Four in this case. Baron Laura, three base prospects. Bobby Witt Jr., two base prospects. Did get the refractor. Alvarez, two base. Also did get the, uh, was it the refractor? 499. And Julio Rodriguez also had four. Same count as Bobby Witt. Check, quick check. Yeah. All right, gang. That's going to get us to and through the end of this one. David, yeah, two more cases tomorrow. Same start time, 12 noon Pacific. 3 p.m. Eastern, and we'll circle back. Normally, we get these four casers done in one day, but we did have a little, I did have a bit of a scheduling, um, tight scheduling window today, and figured it'd be better to probably parse it out over two days. I know watching those first few cases doesn't leave a good taste with going tomorrow, so uh, again, appreciate everyone's patience. Hopefully, we can get you on the board tomorrow if we haven't got you on the board yet. Crazy Piggy, I don't think so. But that's the hit right there. That's the hit, at least, of the day. Um, so, ironically enough, came out of the bonus box. Good deal. Congrats to the Mato spot. One out of 25 on the orange today. Hopefully we can add a few more hits like this tomorrow without having to resort. We are going to do another bonus box tomorrow, but hopefully we can get it in regulation. Crazy Piggy. All right, we'll do good, sir. We'll try to forward that message to the owner. If there's any uh, interest, I'll, I'll let you know either way. But... Um, Maybe try to get me by tomorrow night, see if I can get your reply by tomorrow night. All right, gang, that is going to wrap it up on this first two cases for today. Certainly appreciate everyone again for hanging out, joining, watching the breaks. Do be on the lookout, three and four, cases three and four tomorrow. Same start time, 12 noon Pacific, three Eastern, and we'll follow up with case four on the back side of that as well. What do we got coming up this week? Tops update. Thursday night auctions, Tops Update, five jumbo cases. All cards ship on the Tops Update. All key rookie cards will be sleeved on that as well. And then, and then we got basketball over the week. So do be on the lookout. We'll try to get some more Bowman Chrome mixers, team break mixers in between. I know we're going to do, maybe try to do another one of these hobby breaks in a few weeks. We will get some more mixers, six box HTA, six box uh, hobby mixers in, the, in play as well. So do be on the lookout for those. Crazy Piggy as well. Thank you. Appreciate everybody in the chat. Um, Bill as well. I'll try to shoot you a message, Bill. I think there was, sounds like there's some confusion there. So I definitely want to make sure we're on the same page and that, you know, everything moving forward, kind of aware of that. So I'll try to follow up with you this evening on that as well as the Dominion spot. There appeared to be some confusion there. Again, if you get confused on a spot, if you guys end up, I'll check. If it goes above the normal sale price, we always do adjustments. If you guys bid on something and the price was 
out of confusion. But if the price goes in accordance to what everything else sells for, there's not much room for me to make adjustments because that's where those prices are going at. But if there's any kind of overage because of misinformation or anything like that, that's always something we look to correct for you guys. So don't mean to say like, oh, you didn't know there was autographs. Well, too bad, right? No, if, if you paid more than the going rate on something, we always look at that. But in the Dominguez case, he does go in that range, probably went on the higher range of where he goes. He does go in the 100 to 120 range now. And then uh, same thing on the Wander Franco spot in respect to that as well. But we'll take a look at those uh, at, with closer with a closer look to make sure that there's nothing funny going on with those spots, spot prices. All right, gang, that's going to wrap it up on this one. Again, certainly appreciate the contribution. Certainly appreciate everyone hanging out in the chat. Uh, a lot of people to try to name, so I'm not going to try to get everyone, but certainly do appreciate everyone's contributions. All right, hopefully we got fingers crossed for a couple of better cases tomorrow. Again, appreciate everyone's patience on those first two. Not the most stellar there, unless we got hits on the board for you. Yep. Um, I would grab them if they're going for that cheap, though. I don't think they're... Let me take a closer look. Yeah, if you can get them that cheap, I would certainly grab them because the shipping usually costs a little bit more. Let me see where he's at on his stuff. to tell with the other with the true Bowman's mixed in there yeah low sales of two but with shipping you're looking at six on up to ten oh, there's one for ten there's one for twelve there's one for nine but again these are off season and again you're looking more or less on those more in season prices should be a lot more stouter Yeah, so definitely want to take a look at the checklist, like I said, guys, because you got to know what kind of proposition you're taking there. Again, apologize for any confusion, but if you're not sure on a spot, always message us before placing a bid because I can easily resell the spot if there's any kind of confusion beforehand. But once we start the break, it kind of ties my hands up with that because there's other people that would certainly take those spots at those prices for what's available in the product. So, again, definitely want to check the checklist. Make sure that the cards you're looking at are in the product by verifying the checklist uh, before placing a bid on any auction so that you're fully aware of what's out there. All right, gang, that is going to wrap it up on this one. Until then, everybody do take care. Certainly enjoy your evening out there Monday night, and we'll certainly see you back 